Hello everyone and welcome to Talent Sprint. In this session we are going to learn about trigonometry which is a branch of mathematics that deals with the relationship between lengths and angles of a triangle. This topic of trigonometry is not very common in competitive exams but then there are a few exams where the weightage given to trigonometry is quite high and hence it becomes essential for us to learn and be prepared with this topic so that we can answer the questions without any difficulty. The general feeling among students is that answering questions from trigonometry is difficult. But the fact is, if you are a smart student, then this becomes one of the easiest topics for you to handle in your exam. Most of the questions from this topic of trigonometry can be answered by using a simple substitution method or elimination method where we try to find out the wrong answers from the given answer options to arrive at the correct answer. We shall learn this method of answering the questions through various examples. But before that, let us discuss the basics of trigonometry. Now before we learn about the various trigonometric functions and their identities, let us look at the different systems through which we can measure an angle. Right? So we shall start with measurement of angles. There are three different systems of measurement of an angle. The first one here as we see is sexagesimal or the English system. In this system, the angle is measured in terms of degrees. So the unit of measurement here is degrees. And it says one right angle in this system, one right angle is equal to 90 degrees. Where each degree is again split as 60 minutes and each minute is equal to 60 seconds. So that's one of the systems that we follow, English system of measurement of angle. The second one here is centesimal or the French system where angles are measured in terms of grades. So the unit here is grade. Now if you look at the word here cent, the root word cent, we know that it means 100, right? Cent is 100. So in this system, one right angle is equal to 100 grades. The unit of measurement is grades, right? And here we take one right angle as 100 grades. So that right angle is split into 100 parts. Each part is known as a grade. So 100 grades. Each grade is equal to 100 minutes and each minute here is equal to 100 seconds. Right? So if you try and compare here, one right angle is 90 degrees where each degree is 60 minutes and each minute is 60 seconds. Whereas in the French system, one right angle is 100 grades where each grade is 100 minutes and each minute is again 100 seconds. And the third one here is the circular system of measurement of angles, which is one of the most important systems of measurement of angle. Right? Circular system uses the unit of radians. Here angles are measured in terms of radian. Now how do you define radian? What is meant by uh, one radian? One radian is the angle subtended at the center of a circle by an arc of length equal to the radius of a circle. For example, if you consider a circle with center C and radius equal to R. Here if you observe A and B is an arc and the length of this arc is also equal to R. So what we see here, the length of the arc is equal to the radius of the circle, right? The radius is R and the length of the arc is also equal to R. So the angle subtended by this arc at the center of the circle will be equal to 1 radian. So the simple point here is 1 radian is the angle subtended at the center by an arc of length which is equal to the radius of the circle right now if we try and compare this different systems we find that uh, you know pi radians right radians is generally denoted by this symbol right so pi radians is equal to 180 degrees 180 degrees right one right angle two right angles right one right angle is 90 degrees so two right angles is 180 degrees and one right angle is equal to 100 degrees so two right angles will be equal to 200 degrees right and we can say this is equal to two right angles so that's the comparison between these three different systems right pi radians this is one radian right one radian is the angle subtended in the center by an arc of length equal to the radius of the circle but pi radians is equal to 180 degrees what is 180 degrees two right angles and two right angles can also be taken as 100 degrees however we do not deal with the french system we'll only focus on uh, you know majorly the relationship between the english system and the circular system so if we try and compare we get that pi radians is equal to 180 degrees right pi radians is equal to 180 degrees radians 
is from the circular system of measurement and degrees is from the English system of measurement right so that's the relationship between a uh, circular system and the English system pi radians is equal to 180 degrees and with the help of this equation we can always convert uh, an angle from one system to the other system for example let's say an angle is given in terms of radians how do we convert that to English system in terms of degrees use this equation pi radians is 180 degrees so the given radians is equal to how many degrees likewise the angle may be given in degrees and we may need to find out it in terms of radians so what do we do 180 degrees is equal to pi radians so the given angle in terms of degrees is equal to how many radians so that's a basic proportionality concept using which we can convert angle from one system to the other system right for example let's say uh, you know pi by 3 radians pi by 3 radians is equal to how many degrees pi radians is 180 degrees pi by 3 radians is how many degrees just cross multiply and we get the answer so we can say this angle here will be equal to 180 degrees into pi by 3 divided by pi so pi and pi anyway gets cancelled right what are we left with 180 by 3 which is equal to 60 degrees so we can say pi by 3 radians is equal to 60 degrees likewise if you have to convert an angle in degrees to radians what do we do multiply by pi by 180 if you observe here this angle of pi by 3 has been multiplied by 180 by pi right but if you have to do it the other way if you have to convert degrees into radians what do we do multiply by pi by 180 so that's one way of converting angles from one system to the other system right multiply by 180 by pi if you want to convert to degrees and multiply by pi by 180 if you have to convert into radians for example let's say we have uh, 45 degrees 45 degrees is equal to how many radians how do we do this this will be equal to 45 into pi by 180 now 45 goes four times here so we can say pi by 4 right so 45 degrees is equal to pi by 4 radians all right so the simple point is if you have to convert degrees to radians multiply by pi by uh, 180 and if you have to convert radians to degrees multiply by 180 by 5 180 by pi so using this system of conversion of angles between different systems let's understand what is one radian in terms of degrees right so one radian one radian is equal to how many degrees what do we do multiply this by 180 by pi 180 by pi so one radian is equal to 180 by pi degrees right that's correct but how do we simplify this further into degrees see pi is equal to 22 by 7 right pi can be taken as 22 by 7 so this becomes 180 upon 22 by 7 which will be 1 18 to 7 by 22 and when simplified further we'll get this as approximately 57 degrees right 57 degrees uh, 17 minutes and 45 seconds to give you the precise value so we can say that one radian is equal to 57 degrees 17 minutes and 45 seconds it will be good if you can remember and memorize this value right the relationship between one radian and its value in terms of degrees one radian is equal to 57 degrees approximately or the most accurate value can be taken as 57 degrees uh, 17 minutes and 45 seconds so if there's a question directly on you know what is one radian in terms of degrees you can mark the answer without doing any calculation so that's about the different systems of measurement of angles and the conversion of angles from one system to the other system now before we learn about the different trigonometric ratios let us quickly understand the relationship between the length of the arc radius of the circle and the angle subtended at the center of a circle let us consider a circle of radius r and center o so here we have a circle with radius r now there is an arc arc of length l let's say ab is the arc right ab is the arc of length l and the angle subtended at the center of the circle here is theta radians right angle is in radians theta radians so r is the radius of the circle l is the length of the arc and the angle subtended at the center is theta theta radians so what is the relationship between these three parameters length of the arc radius and the angle here you can say that l equals to r into theta the length of the arc is the product of the radius of the circle and the angle theta in terms of radians or from this we can say that theta the angle subtended at the center will be equal to l by r the ratio of length of the arc to the radius of the circle so this is arc length divided by the radius of the circle 
right so this is an important relationship which may be helpful in answering a few questions from this topic of trigonometry right l equals to r theta or theta equals to l by r where l is the length of the arc and r is the radius of the circle remember the angle theta is in terms of radians not in degrees right so theta in radians equals to l by r and from our uh, knowledge of radians we know that this theta will be equal to one radian right theta will be equal to one radian when length is equal to the radius of the circle right from the definition we have know that uh, one radian is equal to the angle at the center when the length of the arc is equal to radius of the circle which is obvious from this relationship if l is equal to r we get r by r equals to one so theta radians will be equal to one one radian right so we can say that one radian is the angle when l is equal to r length of the arc is equal to radius all right so that's about the relationship between these three parameters length of the arc radius of the circle and the angle theta at the center of the circle